to another video. This video is going to be all about the new 2020 Mark V Supra coming out very soon. Now, I know the new Supra is kind of a controversial topic, mainly just because the Mark IV was so incredible, and people are kind of scared as to what Toyota is really going to do with this new car. And with the new Supra, people are pretty passionate about it. Either people are pretty skeptical or they're really excited for it personally i'm right in the middle i'm not super excited about it although i am really excited that we are finally getting a new supra but i am a little skeptical about it but mainly i think the new supra is gonna be a good car and here are my main reasons why so starting off i think the new supra looks pretty cool the front end I know for some people is a little bit odd. Some people don't like it very much, but personally it does make me think of the Supra. The taillight design for some reason just hits me as Supra. And then the back of it looks really good to me. It really looks like a modernized Mark IV. And second, the biggest thing that the Mark IV Supra had was the 2JZ. And that's the biggest thing with this car is a lot of people are kind of skeptical as to if this car isn't gonna even be worth buying over a Mark IV because the 2JZ's tuning potential was just so high. I mean, you could push so much horsepower on a stock block with a 2JZ just because of how overbuilt it was. Now, of course, nobody can sit around and tell you how much horsepower the new Supra's B58 engine is going to be able to push because nobody's really had any tuning time with it. Toyota is outsourcing this engine. It is being made by BMW, but this isn't the first time they've outsourced an engine. They've done it quite a few times in the past, notably with the FRS and BRZ. But if they were to choose any brand to build them an inline six, Personally, I'd probably want them to go with BMW. BMW has been making inline sixes for as long as I can remember, and they're one of the few companies that still do make inline sixes. And the B58 engine is going to be sharing the same bloodline with the N54 and N55 engines. And anybody that knows anything about those, their tuning potential is pretty high. The main thing that's worrying people about the B58 sharing a bloodline with those engines is the N54 was not the most reliable of engines, but all of its problems weren't directly related to like the block and the engine itself it was mainly electrical stuff is it going to be the modern 2jz i can't really tell you if it is or not i mean i don't really think anybody can tell you if it is or not nobody's had any real tuning time with it now the main thing that isn't so great with the new supra is it's not going to be available in a manual which is kind of weird thinking about a Supra not being offered with a manual transmission. You can only get it with an eight-speed auto as far as I know right now. Toyota might come out with a manual version later down the line, but all things considered, the new Supra is looking pretty good in my opinion. I wanna know what you guys think though. Leave down in the comments what you guys think of the new Supra, and I'll see you guys in the next one and have an awesome rest of your day.